Hey guys, Tech Agent here. Uh, today we have a new video, uh, some new equipment I bought, some new audio equipment for uh, my production setup to increase the fidelity, to increase the quality. Uh, but the Rode NT1A, uh, this is a classic microphone and obviously the the test you're hearing right now is uh, coming from that setup. Again, but stay tuned for a comparison uh, in the end. So stay tuned, uh, there will be a comparison in the end with uh, all my microphones that I have. The uh, interface that I'm using is the M-Audio M-Track. Uh, this is a pretty affordable uh, interface with uh, 48 volts phantom power because this is a condenser mic. That means uh, you will require um, phantom power via XLR3 pin. And this is able to give me that phantom power. Uh, it's a really, really nice interface. Uh, fairly powerful. I can drive it properly. Uh, there is a bit of a, it's not the blackest background, I, uh, I think, but it's still pretty good for what it does. I'm really happy with uh, the, 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 the amount of quality I'm getting out of this interface. Again, it could be better. The microphone is not running at its full potential, but, uh, you know, this is uh, still pretty fantastic and uh, definitely a big upgrade from a, U a USB microphone. The M Audio I thought was made up of uh, metal, but... After uh, further uh, evaluation, I, I thought it was plastic because the joints and everything, it, it was plastic in general. The NT1A is a classic microphone for any studio engineer or anything like that. You might know the NT1A, it's a condenser mic. Uh, and a condenser mic is obviously really, really nice for vocals and stuff. I was, uh, I've been pretty loyal towards Audio Technica in terms of microphones. I hate their headphones, but I love their mics. And I was gonna get the 2035, but the Rode is better in terms of uh, a flat frequency response. Uh, the, the, the audio technica goes up in the upper treble and uh, accentuates uh, like all audio technica microphones which have the nice sp nice sparkle in the in the highs but uh, the recording is not as uh, you know true in terms of uh, reality so it's not the most natural sounding the roads are much more flatter uh, rolling off at 20 hertz so uh, really really nice uh, in terms of uh, quality throat comes with a lot of accessories oh my god I, th the first time I got I was I was I was surprised by the amount of stuff there was I was like I cannot this is just too much and as a tech reviewer you know I usually should get happy but this time I was I was just surprised there was just a lot of stuff including uh, what came in the box there came a shock mount as a uh, you know in the package with a pop filter inbuilt so it's uh, spe specially designed for the NT1A and the NT1 uh, a pop filter and a shock mount which is really nice the pop filter and shock mount are now attached to my mic stand it is made by an Indian company but it's pretty solid works really well is fantastic and uh, really sturdy really fantastic I really really like it the uh, shock mount was really uh, good quality as well it was um, a full metal construction uh, and uh, really really nice actually i was too impressed by the quality of it uh really really nice the pop filter i was not a big fan i use uh it's not as good as the nalni pop filters that i have but it's still pretty good uh for uh, inclusion i don't think it's that different but that's just an observation i, I made uh, i really really like it uh pretty good now the thing i noticed uh, with this microphone was the amount of stuff you got uh, the xlr cable that was included by Rode is uh, massive and crazy it, the gauge and the length is remarkable it, it is a fantastic quality cable it is regard it's known as a low, low low noise cable I don't know if microphones use OFC but it really is quite nice uh, and pretty long so you can you know change your locations and be flexible with that yet have the high quality sound that you want and you know not have to use a lavalier or something like that but again lavaliers have their own uh, advantage and you know desktop microphones have their own advantage so you can always you know it's always good to have an option depending on your use uh, connecting to the M audio is pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, plug and play the M audio the best thing that I found because I have an amplifier inbuilt and I'll be getting a new amplifier very soon so I didn't want something which screwed up all my, sy my system and the best part about the M audio was that it didn't uh, it was just plug and play and I can just choose it as a microphone input and I'm done. I can record, I'm, I'm good to go, I can unplug and then I can listen to my headphones without being bothered by the M audio disturbing my everything else. Uh, my, my, my other setup that is my everything else. <laughs> that was terrible English. Uh, the M audio was really nice. I was a big fan of it. It has a headphone monitoring, quarter inch. Um, <clears throat> the interesting thing I noticed was the mono and stereo switches were inverted on the M audio. Not a big deal for monitoring, but a big deal while recording so be really careful about that 
Uh, in terms of the condenser Rode mic, it was fantastic. It's one of the classic microphones that has been out for many, many years. It's a studio staple. Everybody knows the Rode ND1A. A uh, really fantastic microphone made in Australia, made up of metal, obviously. Has golden capsules inside. Uh, one of the world's quietest micro... It is the world's quietest uh, microphone, irrespective of the price. So it is a fantastic microphone. It obviously is something. And that is why I think it's a good inclusion in my setup. So I think that's pretty much it. You guys will be followed by several tests of, uh, you know, kind of comparison with my other microphones. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can leave it a thumbs up. And I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. All right, see you next time. Hey guys, Tech Asian here. Today we have three microphones and this is a test, test, test. Hey guys, Tech Asian here. Today we have three microphones and this is a test, test, test. Hey guys, Tech Asian here. Today we have three microphones and this is a test, test, test. So I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, the test and got a good perspective of the new audio, new sound coming out of this uh, setup. I spent a lot of money, spent a lot of time, spent you know a lot of energy into this. Uh, you guys don't know the half of it. It, it. It's been a crazy three, you know, the last three days have been crazy for me. It's very busy. I've been uh, traveling a lot. Anyways, that's not important, but finally the video is going to be up. And I'm really excited about that. This new setup is really fantastic. I'm really happy about the quality coming out of it. Uh, this is just a part. Of, just this is just a part of the new setup. I'm upgrading a lot of new stuff. I'm getting. A, I thought I'll get a new slider, but sliders. I don't think. I don't, I don't. I don't think I have a use for it right now. I'll get that sometime in two three months. But I'm getting a new tripod, a really expensive one, and a new lighting setup. So. Uh, you will have the great lighting in the studio for product showcasing plus my face so you'll have uh, fantastic uh, quality content on both sides which is something i'm really excited about uh, so i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, i don't have a wide enough audience to talk about channel updates so i thought i'll include this in the outro uh, if you like the quality let me know and i'm really excited about the future so a big thumbs up for all your support uh, even the slightest helps uh, you know it's just funny because just try to remember two years ago everything started with a gigabyte of ram and no knowledge about anything and in two years things have changed so i'm i'm, I'm really happy about that big thumbs up to all you guys and i think i'll see you guys uh, next time with another video probably uh i don't know i really don't know i don't have anything to review so we'll see what happens but that's pretty much it i think i'll see you guys uh, next time all right two fingers to the sky and i ain't saying peace peace Let's leave it all behind, are you wrong?